This is Sims Lenhart with the kickoff. Back deep. Hudefa is Maley. Is Maley finds a seam at the 35. Is Maley pushed out of bounds at the 48 yard line. An auspicious beginning for Northwestern. Finally pushed out by Sims Lenhart, the place kicker. Third down and five to go for the Wildcats. Snur gets it off in time, complete to Tucson Waterman, and he has the first down at the 42 yard line. It's third down and 13. Let's see what this young Duke defense can do. Schnur with time, complete to Bates. And Bates is down at the 30 yard line. First and 10 from the 30 for Northwestern on its opening drive of the afternoon. Archery looking to get to the perimeter, breaks one tackle, breaks two, and Darnell Autry is gonna take it to the house. Touchdown, Wildcats. Gotta watch that taunt, that was close. They're getting a little bit more liberal with that this year. They're letting kids get away with a little more, but he wasn't showboating. Maybe. Autry on a 30-yard scamper to hit Pater. Two tight end set, ace formation. Play fake, up in the end zone. Northwestern snuffs the drive in the end zone. Tim Sharp, number 52 with the pick. My, does that hurt. First down and 10. Schnur has time to throw. Complete to Dwayne Bates. And Bates falls to the 47. Another Wildcat first down. He seems to have stabilized that offense. Duke coming with the blitz. Bates open, pulls it in at the 20-yard line. And Steve Schnur got planted, I mean planted like carrots, at the 38-yard line by Darius Clark, who was blitzing. It was a perfect two for two last week, but missed the extra point early in the game. This time, drills it right through the uprights. And Northwestern takes a nine to nothing lead with 135 remaining in the first period. Third down and nine to go for Duke. Blitz coming, but it's picked up. Rare though, goes down, and he may have fumbled it. He did, and Northwestern has the ball at the 20. If Joe Reef did, that is one of the most alert plays you'll ever see. Joe Reef on the ground, gets the sack, and is able to strip Matt Rader. Gowan's in for the field goal, coming from 30 yards out. Out of the hold of Hamdorf. And he is two for two in the field goal department this afternoon. With his first career field goal attempt. Northwestern snuffs it. And it's out of bounds at the 22-yard line. Pick never had a chance. First down and 10. Nose of the ball at the 22 for Northwestern. Autry has a seat. Autry breaking away. Still on his feet. Darnell Autry over midfield and down to the 46-yard line. Tackled finally by Holly. A 32-yard pickup for the All-American candidate. Brian Musso in motion. Schnur for Musso, open, nice sidestep, still on his feet, touchdown Northwestern. Brian Musso doing a little dance and making it into the house. 15 yards, a sweet run by Musso. On the waggle again, this time they were waiting for it. Number 44, they gotta get a timeout. Barnett knows he's in for a tough second half. This team traditionally plays very well in the third quarter. Duke receiving here in the second half. Got Montgomery, ball on the ground, and Northwestern says they have it and they do. A very inauspicious beginning for Duke in the third quarter. This is Autry, a gaping hole up the middle. One man to beat, and Autry brought down at the 45-yard line. A picture of explosiveness by Darnell Autry. He's done some color. He's a TV man already. <laughs> Third down and 11. They run to Autry. He has to first down the first down. Boy, does he add a lot to this team. I mean, he enters the game, and it's just a whole different dimension that this Wildcat offense takes. Tucson Waterman split to the top of your screen. Bates to the bottom. Backs out of the offset eye. Schnur with plenty of time into the end zone for Bates. Touchdown, Northwestern. 
He beat Keenan Holly on the play. Bates got the feet down after going high. This is a young team. Their psyche is so fragile at times. A blitz! And they get there. Snuffing the quarterback Raider right at the 16-yard line. Yeah, Kevin Buck came right through number nine initially, completely untouched over the right tackle gap. This is Kruger with the punt. Musso back at the 49. Brian Musso has room. Musso with one man to beat. Musso, touchdown. For the second week in a row, Brian Musso runs one back, and this time there are no flags on the play. Tom Zach, I think, has settled that team down, and Bill Cowers, I think, one of the better coaches. And this one is picked off, John. Schmidt, Tor Schmidt, just swallowed, engulfed that ball. He used all of that 6-3 frame to haul in the pass and showed a lot of dexterity for a defensive lineman who set up this drive with the interception. Archery, oh my. Darnell into the end zone. A touchdown lunge to hit pay dirt. That is a monument to effort. And it appears as if they will let the clock run out rather than punt. As time ticks off, Northwestern will improve to one and one Duke falling to 0-2. The story of the game, third quarter offensive firepower by Northwestern. The genuine Chevrolet MVPs, Brian Musso of Northwestern and Matt Rader are from Duke. Chevrolet will donate $1,000 to each general scholarship fund to reward outstanding students for their academic achievements and to assist those in financial need. It's been a Chevrolet tradition for more than a quarter of a century. We'll be back. The final score once again, Northwestern 38, Duke 13.